When you name your product Project Limitless, there better be no limits. The trouble is, the 5G laptop that's the result of a collaboration between Qualcomm and Lenovo here at Computex 2019 was quite limited. It was basically a very prototype early stage device uh, that we were able to see here at the show, but that didn't stop us from trying to get our hands on it and telling you all about it. Project Limitless is what Lenovo is calling this 5G laptop uh, here at the show. It uses a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8CX CPU, which means it runs Windows on ARM, but will also be part of that always-on, always-connected PC ecosystem that Qualcomm and Microsoft have talked up for years now. As a refresher, the Snapdragon 8CX was first announced last December at Qualcomm's Tech Summit in Maui, um, and the X in its name stands for Extreme, that is, extreme performance, extreme battery life, extreme connectivity. It promises 5G uh, connections, performance that rivals Intel's chipsets for PCs, as well as battery life that will go on for days. While we didn't get to see a lot of devices using the 8CX yet, the Lenovo laptop called Project Limitless will be the first to not only have the 8CX, but also use the X55 5G modem as well. Now, because 5G networks aren't actually live yet in a real way, especially here in Taiwan, the unit that we checked out was using sort of a box setup that isn't real 5G. However, it did show us very high speeds. Um, playing a video on this theoretical network had no delay. There was no buffering needed as I jumped from different points within a YouTube video. Now, since this is an early stage device, I don't want to make too many judgments just yet. I will say, though, the keyboard felt a little shallow on the travel. It wasn't the most comfortable to type on, but it did feel sturdy overall. Um, the camera that we launched to take a quick picture was pretty decent, and the build quality is a little chunkier than I'd like, but it is in line with the rest of Lenovo's mid-range devices. Both Qualcomm and Lenovo have been pretty quiet on the details here. We know that it will run a Snapdragon 8CX chipset, but we don't exactly know the other components. When we opened up the uh, About page on the hands-on unit, we did see that it was using 16 gigs of RAM, which is pretty high. We did get to check out the promised performance benefits of the 8CX here, though. For example, we saw a demo of the an 8CX reference design laptop powering two 4K monitors and running five apps concurrently. Now, some of these are native apps that have been recompiled by their developers for ARM-based Windows, but some of them were running on an emulator, too. For example, Photoshop CC. I managed to edit a picture on the 8CX reference design laptop while four other apps were being pushed out to the two 4K monitors. Yes, there was some delay. When I dragged the slider for saturation, the effect only applied in big tiles across the actual image itself. But that delay is something I'd expect even on a mid-range, say a Core i5 machine, when it's pushing through four other apps on 4K monitors. So I'm not actually going to complain about that. Qualcomm also showed us a demo running on Unity's engine that's recently been built for ARM, and it showed relatively high frame rates of about 50 FPS during a good run. Now, there aren't a lot of games built on this Unity engine for ARM just yet, so developers really have to decide whether they want to build games for the ecosystem for this to truly be useful for the user. That's really all we know so far about Project Limitless, that Lenovo is making a 5G laptop and that it's using the 8CX, which seems like it could be truly very powerful. Lenovo and Qualcomm say consumers can expect more information in early 2020, which sounds suspiciously like around CES time next year. Until then, though, there's a lot of time for the companies to iron out all the details on this laptop. For now, stay tuned to Engadget.com for all of the news out of Computex 2019.